You're very welcome along here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala for the very first game of the 2019 Subway Schools Cup Finals. It is the under 19B girls final between Colossal Pubble Satanta in white and Presentation Secondary School of Thurless County Tipperary in red. I'm joined here by Ireland under 20 women's head coach and head coach of Mighty Carlo Basketball, Martin Conroy. Martin, this is going to be a cracking game, I suspect. Yeah, it's looking good to start with. There's a good start for Thurless with uh, two points coming in from their number 10. That's Anna Dunn. Um, yeah, looking forward to this. Should be a good game. Uh, two decent teams coming through the, the cup stages. Yes, indeed. A shout out has to go to Colossia Pubble Satanta because they, of course, won the under 19 C last year. So this is their first year in the B and they've gone the whole way through to the final, which is a massive achievement for the school. Yeah, look, that, that's a fantastic achievement to go through two grades in two years. Uh, well done to the coaching staff and the players that are involved. Yes, indeed. As it is, Colossia Pubble Satanta now with the ball. Katie Williamson. Ireland International who made such an impact for them last year when they won the double in the league and the cup they'll be looking for a big game from her she's captain today as well but it is presentation again who draw the foul on the way to the basket and that should be heading it to the free throw line Creedon that is that, that foul came in on uh, Melissa Stankovic and like she's going to be a big player for public school today as well I've seen and he said at uh, our under 20s trials this year, he's quite a good player, so he's going to be important to them. Yeah, indeed. It's a, a lot of up and coming young talent for Irish basketball on the court today. And the second one is good. As you can hear, it is deafening in the arena here. Superb support from both Tipperary and Dublin for these two young teams. Katie Williamson has two on her. She pops it outside for the long shot. It doesn't go. And good rebounding, or good defense rather, from Thurless. Sees them bring it out through Creedon again. She's called for a travel inside presentation. So it's going to be a Satanta ball. And it's an interesting defense they've got up here. They're putting pressure straight on it, Kojak. Yeah, they've got two players up the floor. They seem to be playing a little bit of a triangle in around the basket. But they're, they're trying to negate Williamson as much as they can. They're doing a good job on it so far. And it's Creedon again. Yeah, Creedon seems to be the one that's going to run the floor for him. And, and you know, she, she's doing really well getting to the basket at the moment. Thurless, of course, with the experience of Martin Hare, uh, Kojak, on the floor for them today. Yeah, Martin's been a, a fantastic coach in Ireland for a long time. You know, he, he knows the game inside out. He brought through some, you know, household names in Irish basketball like the Dwyer sisters and, and those girls down in, in Turles over the years and down in Tipperary has been involved with Irish basketball for a long, long time and a very, very, very good coach. Yes, indeed. The Dwyers, of course, two of Tipperary's most famous basketball exports. As Williamson misses the first, I feel like Satanta just needs to take a breather here. Kojak, it's a bit of a flustered start. Yeah, like a little bit of pressure coming up the floor and it's is kind of stopping their, their flow on the offense, but I'm sure they'll get the grips with it. It's, it's nerves as well. It's already on in the game and they'll get going. I've no doubt in that. They've got the kind of make up for it on the defensive side. That'll help them in their offense as well. Yes, indeed. Satanta trying to get a score now on the board. They have that free throw as their first. Oh, a lovely sidestep. Oh, she was unlucky there that that didn't fall. What a lovely move from Melissa. And instead, it is Amy McGovern at the other end. And it's going to be a jump ball. Whose possession will it be? It's going to be presentation possession. You know, Melissa, that's her, her shot. Like, you know, it's 16, 18 feet, and, you know, she'll make a lot more of those than she'll miss, you see, as the game will go on. 7.56 to play in this opening quarter here at the arena in this first Subway Schools Cup final. 
One of four today. It's an action-packed day here at the arena. Reigning holders at this age group, Loretto Stevens Green, knocked out of the competition. Or not knocked out, up in the A, rather. <laughs> too early in the morning for me Kojak. Sarah Woods isn't going to be very happy with you now is she I Mary? know sorry Sarah <laughs> and who is going to take it this year Satanta of course have been knocked out of the league this year so all of their hopes are going to be on this game as a big score there from presentation makes it 6-1 in favour of the Tipperary team but at the other end Laomi scores a big score for Satanta, and it's one they finally needed just to settle them a little bit. Yeah, that's a good basket, you know, and hopefully that will settle their team down. It was a good shot previous to that from, from presentation, Tarlis, like 16, 18 foot jump shot here in the arena is not easy, especially when you've got all these nerves. So they're starting to get into their game now and into the rhythm. Yes, nerves, as he said. What a huge crowd to be playing in front of him. And it's Creedon again. She's going to be the woman to watch, Kojak, by the looks of it. Yeah, we said it early on, like she runs the floor well. She she likes to attack the basket, so she's going to be trouble for Satanta unless they get the grips with her early. Williamson's got to protect the basket. I mean, that's her job. 7-11 to play here. Nice pass inside to Williamson. Taken away, the three-point shot comes in from, that's number 11, that's Sully O'Sullivan. The rebound comes to Creed and is away again, Mary. Yeah, she's an absolute flyer. Good defense inside there from Satanta's Melissa again. I'd like to see Melissa kind of get it more into the game offensively. You know, look to kind of create her own shot. I'm sure that'll come as well. Williamson misses the jumper from just inside the free throw line. We got a timeout, Mary. Great. Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala. 6.34 to go here in quarter one in the Subway Schools Cup. Under 19B Girls All-Ireland Final. Just a change on the scoreboard there. You might have noticed on your screen. It was, we're just matching what's in the arena here. They went up by one um, by mistake on one of the previous scores. So it's just been correct now. So the correct score is 7-3 in favour of Presentation Thurlis. Who are in red on your screens. Playing from left to right as you're looking at it. And it's a, a good, strong start, Kojak, from presentation. Yeah, you see, um, Satanta have now decided to put on a bit of a full-court pressure, just trying to take the, the sting out of half-court offense. But I'd be worried about Creedon going to the basket off that if, if they're going to you know, keep doing it. You know, she's very strong at running the floor, and she'll finish when she gets her chance. Definitely. She got a nice tip there to send the ball over to Anna Dunn, who drew the foul going up there as well. So she's on the free-throw line now. 6.18 to go here. First one rolls out. It's good for the second one though. Much to the delight of the huge support here from Tipperary. Again, kind of three players in the front court just putting a bit of pressure on the 
It's a time to drill. Yes, interesting to see that they've Williamson bring up the ball to break that pressure as well. She got it over the line this time, but there was a good interception under the boards there by Thurless. And it's going to be their ball from the sideline. Yes, thank you for tried that baseline pass. She's got to get a little further over the baseline to make that pass back in for it not to be intercepted. Tasha Tully now on the ball for Prez. She's looking for options. Finds them in Creedon, as always. And she draws the foul. She's fantastic to watch. Yeah, she's been doing really well. She's like she her thing is to go to the basket. I'd like to see kind of maybe she's had to make her shoot the ball a little bit more, stay in front of her. Don't allow her to get to the basket that easy, you know, and, and make her make you know different shots. Shots she doesn't want to take here, but it looks like she wants to go to the basket all the time. She makes the first one. 5.58 on the clock. Shooting in to her own crowd here. They're all behind that basket. Two from two. And they are now into a 10-3 lead with 5.55 to play in quarter one. Stankovic out to O'Sullivan. It's popped inside. That shot doesn't go for Laomi though. And we are back on the bounce here with Turles. And what a good move. Creedon and Dunn. Linking up lovely there, Kojak. Yeah, that's a great penetration dribble. Waited till the last second. Nice little kick and Dunn finishes with an easy layup. Satanda really got to get their offense going. They got to get the ball to Williamson at some stage and let her, you know, go to work inside. I don't think, I think if she gets the ball inside, she could do a lot of damage. But we're not getting the ball to her in the right spots at the moment. Definitely. She's lethal with the ball in her hands, as we've seen so many times. And we saw for Liffey Celtics at the Hula Hoops Cup semi-finals at the weekend. She will, of course, be representing them this weekend again in Tala in the Under-18 Cup final. So she's a busy week. Don't like talking about Cup finals, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say no more. Thurless with a good stop. And it's back with Tasha Tully, who's setting things up for them. She sees Creighton. Oh, lovely. Nice job. Lovely play. <laughs> lovely backdoor pass there. What a fantastic move. Creighton, unselfish with the ball. Yeah, but it all comes from the movement, the passing cut. Like when she passed, she didn't stay still. She, she made a lovely little back cut and straight to the basket. And a nice find from Creighton again and a nice layup. Satanta so inbounding here. Pops out to Williamson. Corner three doesn't go. And unfortunately, Laomi doesn't pick up that rebound. And they are on the break again here. Yeah, she probably could have taken that maybe a little bit further towards the basket. You know, probably went straight to the basket. Guarantee if it was Creedon, she'd have gone to the basket. But uh, they get the ball in the outbounds and they're still in their offense. Tully, it's a lovely spin move, but she's called for a travel. 4.48 to go here in quarter one. And as we said, this is just game one of an action-packed day and an action-packed week at the Subway Schools Cup Finals. Foul called there. Looks like an offensive one, is it? Yeah, like she, she put her hand up just to try and keep the pressure away, but it's um, it's an offensive foul. They're looking for two free throws, not two free throws because it's an offensive foul, but foul was called. It's going to be a perilous ball, 11 point lead. Looking to run their set, looking for the double screens. Creedon pops out again. Back to Creedon. Oh. Oh. She did so well to catch yeah. that ball. She's oh going to give it away God. here as well. Look. Wow. You know, you see a kid like that, you see that she really wants to win this game. You know, she, she's literally giving everything in her body at the moment to, to make sure her team's staying in, in a good lead. Three, three points from Satanda isn't good enough. They're going to need to get some, some points on the, on the scoreboard. Shot goes up. It's short. Williamson. She did so well there off balance to put it up. But here we go again, Creedon. Outside to Laura Daly. She's deemed to be fouled. 
by Kelly May Murphy. And it looks like she's headed to the free throw line. She is indeed. Yeah, it's team fouls now for Satanta. So every time the, the foul comes now, it's going to be two free throws for Turles. It's a lot on the clock to the end of this quarter as well. Neither of them fall. And Kelly May comes out with the ball, goes out of bounds. It looks like it's going to stay with Satanta, though. Yeah, she put it off the defeat of the defender there. It's a tough place to shoot free throws, Mary, if you're, you're not used to this kind of atmosphere, you know? Oh, definitely, yeah. Great steal there by Turles, but they put it out over the end line. That's Tully. Her pass just goes astray, but a great steal there. As Satanta back up the court. Williamson inside this time, now that Melissa's back on the floor. And here she is dribbling the whole way around the baseline. Back to her in the corner now. There's her shot. There you go. Good shot, though. That's the, that's the best offense they've run in a while. Yeah, it's made the difference since she's come back on. 3.47 to play here in quarter one. This Subway Schools under 19B girls final. We are gone back to the free throw line. A lot of free throws coming up now, so you know you got to make these count at the line. They've got their lead, you know, and pushing it up another six, eight points before the end of the quarter could make it very difficult for Satanta to get back into the game. But Williamson has to get more involved in the offense. She has to see the ball a bit more. She has to get it in the right positions, and, and she should be looking to go to the basket. And also, Stankovic is a good shooter. She's got to get the ball for Satanta. They're going to be out of the game if not. And that is Dara. Dara Vajanko Johnson with a big score there and a much needed score for Satanta. Yeah, they've got to stay in touch now at the end of the quarter. If they can stay within the six, eight, ten points, they'll be okay. Williamson with the tap out. I thought was, O'Sullivan might have made that one, but it goes out over the sideline. Just getting a little bit frustrated. They got to settle down again, you know. And it, it's it's up to the the more experienced players like Williamson and Stankovic to kind of get their team and pull them together here now. Shot is up, doesn't fall, and we're on the break here with Satanta. It doesn't fall for Murphy though, and it is Creedon. What a score! She's doing everything. She was the player down the floor to put the pressure on the layup, and then she gets back up the floor and makes that little jumper in the middle of the key. Great job again from Creedon. She makes it look effortless. The Tanta really need to be watching their fouls. It's only quarter one. We don't want any, any of them getting in foul trouble early on in the game. I think so far they've been lucky enough to spread them around a little bit, if you know what I mean. So... Williamson gets it in a nice spot in the middle of the key. That's and a good rebound. Yes. There she goes. That should settle her a bit now. She's going for the and one as well. 2-27 to play in this first quarter. But Katie getting the ball in there is going to be hard for Santana to stop, or for Turles to stop. So that's where she should be getting the ball. And she's got to make her free throws as well when she gets to the line. Creedon with a huge rebound, fires it up the floor to Tully. And that shot falls short. They still have it, good offensive boards there. Tully slowing things down. Shot clock's being counted down beside her. Oh, great block by Johnson. Williamson, the good handles, drives all the way. There we go. Now she's getting into the game. Good job there from Katie Williamson. Good drive, great finish. All led from the defense, though, Mary. Yes, indeed. Huge stop there by Johnson inside. The Turles crowd getting behind their team now. 1.45 to play in this first quarter. And we know with these schools games, they can fortunes can reverse in the blink of an eye. 
Yep, seen so many of those over the years where you think a game is dead and buried. We're getting a timeout now for Martin Hare. One thirty-two to go here in quarter one. A much needed time out there, um, Kojak from Martin here. Um, Satanta getting a little bit of momentum. Yeah, look, Katie Williamson has got into the game now. You know, she's her last two baskets. She's gone straight down the middle of the key, med layups, and you know that's what Satanta needs. So Martin just tried to stop the momentum there, and, and we'll see if his team are able to respond to what he's done. Huge boards from Williamson. Fires it up the court. Can she finish? No, but there's good rebounding inside from Teodora and it is game on yeah good, great follow from Kucevic there to get the rebound put it back and again no it's a six point game no that's what I said a few minutes ago they got to stay within six eight points going into the second quarter Tully to Creedon oh. she's been amazing so far and, and like Satan they've got to look at maybe doing something a little different on defense to take her out of the game, you know, maybe a box and one or something like that, just to make it more difficult for her because she's getting every shot she wants at the moment. But she's just so calm when she's taking them. She kind of reminds me of Claire Amelia a bit, the way she just, she's just so chilled, just stand there. Good stop there from Thurlis, but it comes to Katie Williamson. Kuchevic tries to get it inside to Kelly Mae Murphy but it doesn't fall. 24.4 seconds to go here to the end of the first. Yeah, the, the full court pressure has come back from Tanta now. They're not, they're not putting it on anymore, but they're stepping up a little bit in the half court. They're trying to leave Johnson in around the basket just to protect the rim. And, you know, they need to do maybe a little something different on, as I was saying, on Creedon. So maybe you might see someone like Stankovic or Katie Williamson take her for a few minutes and just try and cut down her score in a little bit. It looks like Katie is honored there. Great, great work there to stop her, but it comes outside. We've less than a second here now, and that is the end of quarter buzzer as Satanta leads, or Satan Prez lead 19-11.
Welcome back there to the National Basketball Arena in Tala on day one of the Subway Schools All-Ireland Cup Finals. It is game one, day one, and we have Kalasha Pubal Satanta from Dublin in white playing off against Presentation Secondary School in red from Thurles County Tip. Katie Williamson, so wish! Straight in! That brings her tally to seven points. And, uh, you know, that's a good start now for Santa. Yes, indeed. Tully tries to get the response. Stankovic comes out with the rebound, and they're going to get the inbound here as well. Good defense there from Turles on Murphy. She's in trouble, needs support. She finds it in Stankovic into Williamson and she drew the foul that's yeah. what you want to see from her absolutely you know that, uh, that's a good pass as well you know the great pass from Melissa going in there to, to Katie now Katie's going to make her free throws 9.21 to go in this second quarter misses the first got to fix the net for her. And misses the second. Creedon, here we go again. Good pass. And it looks like, yeah, it is indeed two shots called. Anna Dunn will be heading to the free throw line for Thurless. And these will be crucial shots for Thurless, really, just to settle them again. Yeah, and like, um, Williamson has come out kind of all guns blazing now in the last 40 seconds and, and gotten her team right back into the game. So. As we said earlier on, free throws are tough in this environment, you know, when you're not used to it. And, um, I think this is Dunn's nearly third trip to the line. Yeah. And she's yet to make one, unfortunately. Knocked out of bounds there. It's going to be a Satanta ball. Good work from Williamson under the boards there to win that one. As it is sister for sister on the substitutes. Dara and Laomi swapping over for Satanta. Laomi coming back into the game. And a steal for Thurless. Amy McGovern out to Tully. Good hands there from Kelly Mae Murphy. And foul is called. That's on Kelly Mae. I think she originally gave the pass away, but she fought hard to try and get it back in furnace door. Tully goes around Murphy. Oh, lovely bounce pass across. Great defense there from Kuchevic. Back to Kuchevic, left hand shot goes up. And Bajanko Johnson just misses that. And Thurless. Katie against Creedon. And it's gone out for a Thurless ball. 8.38 to play here in the second. Yeah, Tully and Creedon seem to be just running the, the show for for Prez Turles and, and doing a good job of it. it. Goes inside to Creedon again for another shot. Oh. Williamson was lucky there. It was gifted to Anna Dunn and she just missed that layup. And it's gone out for a Satanta ball. But she was lucky there after working hard to win the ball. She put it straight in to Anna Dunn's hands. Here we go. Three-point shot from Williamson. Ah, oh, so wish all net. That brings her tally up to ten points and two points between the teams now, Mary. She's done a great job of bringing her team back into the game. Her dad, Nigel, in the crowd there. Delighted, but responded to by Tully. Tasha Tully with a huge score for Prez. Seven pick and roll, 55. Game. Johnson to Kuchevic, comes outside to Melissa. What a score! The last three scores have been trees. I mean, that, that's a fantastic job from Stankovic, and she's capable of that. So, you know, a little two-man game starting to happen between her and Katie Williamson now as well. That could help their team no end. Foul called. Looks like Williamson is getting a little bit to grips on Creedon's left hand as well. It kind of 
threw her off a bit, I think, in the first quarter. Yeah, I think she's kind of taken her straight up more now than, than, than in the first quarter, and that's definitely making a difference. You know, we haven't seen the kind of the, the same kind of um, easy scores for, for Creedon in this quarter so far. First one is good from the free throw line. Second one falls out, but good rebounding by Creedon and a good stop by Williamson. Johnson gets it out and it's fired all the way up the court. Dangerous pass there. She gets away with it. Thank oh. you, Bill. Another three. Tie game, Kojak. Here we go. Love schools basketball. <laughs> Live to give you hashtags at every stage. 6.55 to play here in quarter two. Martin Hare calling for a timeout. We'll be back in a couple of moments. Six fifty-five to play here in quarter two of the Subway Schools Under Nineteen B Girls Cup All Ireland Final. We've got a twelve-four run as Williamson sets herself again. Doesn't fall from her this side though, and Creedon on the break keeps control of it. Jump stop and a finish. It's. That's amazing. I mean, it's 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 getting her feet set. She's making her shot. You know, she she's done it three or four times down the floor now. It's a great job from from Creedon. Six you know, twenty-seven. Sorry, Gojek. That's what Martin would have wanted after the timeout. You know, get a stop. You know, get a rebound, then get a score, just to settle this team back into the game. Williamson with the shot from baseline, it rims out, but Johnson underneath the boards. Comes to Williamson again, the lovely drive. She picks up her rebound the other side of it and goes out to her favoured spot for the three. This time it doesn't fall and Perlis have held on to it. Jennifer O'Mara comes out the court with it and the long shot. Three point shot. Wow. Coming in from number 12 there. And that's Laura Daly. Great score and she gets a steal as well. Quite an unusual shot, it was quite flat. Yeah, it was surely a little bit two-handed, but Stankovic, nice move. Creedon's on the break and she's got support. And a great score from Daly. So time they've got they're looking again at time out of their own now, just to settle things back down again. They had got back into the game, but they've let the lead slip out again now to seven points. Lovely. Nice. Williamson did well there. Johnson, Creedon, trying to dribble out of danger. She does so. And it's two against one in there, and Creedon draws the foul. That's going to be Stankovic's second foul as well. And Creedon back to the line. Again, she's kind of been the spark again now we're in the last kind of minute and a half after the timeout to, to get her team stretched out to another bit of a lead. Free throws could be the story of this game, Kojak. Who's making them and who's missing them? 
They always are. I know. <laughs> you always tell me that. She gets the second one. 514 to play here in the second. Williamson drives past. And it's gone out of bounds. And it's going to be a Satanta ball. If that's the first time I've seen her get a little bit frustrated and, and kind of make a shot that really wasn't on. I hope she can just keep herself together because her team are going to need her. Doesn't drop for Stankovic this time. And Thurlis on the break once more. And it is Daly again. She's been a, a bright spark here. Yeah, she's coming off the bench and done a good job. But like Stankovic now has picked up her third foul. That could be huge for Satanta. Still 447 and 57 left to go in this quarter. And she'll be on the free throw line daily, that is. Hoping to edge Thurlis in front a little bit more. First one rims out. Conor Meany likes to tell me that these are tough rims to shoot into, though, Kojak. Enough for a shooter like Conor, surely. <laughs> I'd say he's going to enjoy shooting into them this weekend, regardless of how tough they are to shoot. From. Indeed. Satanta really need a score from the next couple of offences. Almost comes there, but it's knocked out of bounds by O'Mara, and it's going to be a Satanta ball. As Thurlis start the Icelandic chair in the crowd here. Johnson is fouled as she picks up the rebound from Williamson's shot. Yeah, he a nice little shot there on the baseline, and you know, good, good follow, good rebound from Johnson. And again, now we we get back to free throws. These are huge because. You know, with her team nine points down, she needs to kind of cut into that lead. She knocks down the first one. Two from two. For Laomi. Looking inside. Oh, a good pass inside. Williamson just strolls in and collects it, though. Yeah, she came from nowhere that time just yeah. to, to take that rebound. But Jimmy Ward would say, here's an M1. Oh. That's going to get her going. What a score that was. She was taking no prisoners, coast to coast, and going and won. Takes the rebound, as Jimmy, Jimmy Ward used to say from last Tuesday. Goes straight down the middle of the floor. Takes the hit, makes the bucket. Unfortunately, this is a free throw. And Creedon... It's been a little bit quieter of late. Blocked by Williamson at the other end. Williamson doing well actually, Kojak, to get back from the free throw line. And back to block that. A good score from Anna Dunn. Yeah, look, she ran the floor really, really well. She, she knows her team needs her now, you know, especially with Stankovic sitting out. So she's got to step up and be the leader for her team. And she's doing a really good job of it so far. O'Sullivan, uh, that pass just goes astray for Kuchevic. As Satanta look like they're calling for a timeout, they are indeed. We will be back in a couple of moments.
4-0-2 to play here in quarter two in this under 19B girls Subway Schools Cup final. It's end to end stuff here, Kojak. Yeah, and Creedon's away on the break again. Great block from Johnson again. Uh, I think Satan there taking a bit of a gamble here now by putting Melissa back in on three fouls this early as another steal comes in from Tully with a great steal and pass to Creedon. What a block by Williamson. They finish it though. Anna Dunn picks up the loose ball. But Williamson, what a block from her. Yeah, she just read it nicely. Make sure she got a hand on it. Kept her body away. And it, good block. Let's get behind your teams. Please Drives the whole way and scores. Yeah, at this stage, Mary, I'm beginning to think she could... Uh, literally throw it over her head and it'll go in everything is dropping for her she's doing a fantastic job don't get me wrong but everything she puts up is going in the basket just as I'd said she'd gone a bit quiet she, she proves me wrong gotta no. get a shot away during the shot clock oh unlucky there Williamson standing on the wrong side to collect that as well as Creedon easy left hand layup for her yeah, but that's good recognition. She knew that Stankovic is on three fouls. She went straight at her. Stankovic couldn't afford to step into her and foul. So good job from Creedon again. Yes, a foul inside there. 2.32 to play here till halftime. It's a 17-point 17, 17 to 4-point you know, run in the last four and a half minutes for, for Turles. And it just, they've got everybody chipping in with Creedon. You know, it, it's, again, it's a time to need a few people to chip in with both Stankovic and, and Williamson to make this a game. Creedon. Oh, bit of a miscommunication with Anna Dunn and Satan to have it back. Williamson calls for it. She gets it. Nice little move. Williamson, that one dropped short. Nice little move in there by Zoe O'Sullivan. It didn't fall for her, and Williamson's shot was short there. Yeah, and she, like, again, just watching her body language coming back down. She's got to get that Puff Summers, you know, next play. It doesn't matter. Move on. If she does that, you know, she can really have her team out. Great rebound. Williamson is fouled there under the boards. She's going to get two shots now as well. I think that's team fouls. Interesting to see Kojak winner Roland for Satanta has been one on one with Creedon now the last couple of minutes. Satanta trying to close off that threat. 1.48 to go here till half time. Yeah, Creedon showing that it's not an easy job to close it off. I mean, she's very strong in her left hand, and, you know, it, it's, it's hard to defend if you're not used to defending a left handed player. couple of crucial free throws here now she misses the first she won't be too happy with that knowing Williamson as they do and she breaks the line breaks now. the line there yep yeah. I think we've only seen about maybe five made free throws in the entire game so far, you know, so got to keep that pressure there now, keep it in the half throw for eight seconds. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, what a move. She's making it so easy for her teammates. Like, she's going hard down the floor, pass off her left hand. Williamson trying to do the same at the other end and does. Nice job. Nice finish from Katie Williamson. 122 to go. Roland trying to keep Creedon out of things, but Creedon's having none of it. She gets it here onto her left hand. Williamson with the stop. Vital stop there, Kojak. That's Katie's four oh. block, but look who comes up with it again. You can't fall asleep around this girl. Oh. Satanta, a bit of a breather there as Williamson. Drives through, one, two, three of them. Roland with the follow-up, doesn't fall either. And Tully at pace is flying up the court. Creedon is there for her. 
And she finishes. That's the old one two there, Tully and Creighton, who've been playing exceptionally well together all game. 31 seconds to go here till the half. 29 44 is the margin. Satanta needs something here. Nice shot, though. Stankovic rims out, though, and we are back with O'Mara and Thurlis. They managed to keep the ball in somehow. No, just gone over the end line. I just was wondering. One, one, one kind of error too many there, wasn't yeah. there? <laughs> Six yeah. seconds now for uh, great to, the, to get a shot away. The sub man is here, so there's going to be great excitement. It's going to be firing T-shirts into the crowd. But one second to get the shot up, and it is short. Oh, Half time. Press lead 44-29.
Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala. We are headed into quarter three of the Subway Schools Under-19 B Girls Cup final. Kojak, bit of a gap opened up on the scoring there in the second quarter after Satanta had pulled it back level. What can Satanta do now, do you think, to close that gap once more? Well, you know, they played defense with intensity for about three or four minutes and they went on a 12-4 run. So, you know, they are capable of that. We know that. They've got to get the ball into Williamson and Stankovic in the right places. Like, Stankovic wants that either wide open three or maybe the, you know, 14, 16 foot jump shot. Williamson get her the ball inside, but she can also shoot the three. But it's going to stem from the defense and what to do there. They've got to get them to grips with Creedon, who's 18 points at the moment and must have six or seven assists as well. Uh, and that's going to be the key to them getting back in the game. But if they can't let it grow anymore in the next four or five minutes. That's going to be huge. Yes, indeed. Well, it's going to be a thorough ball to inbound us and get us underway here. As stopped there, I didn't see what happened. Clock. We have a scoreboard malfunction. Well, while we have you all here, don't forget this is just game one of an action-packed day. Next up is an absolutely mahusive Galway Derby, Kojak. Calasanctus College and St. Joe's the Bish going head-to-head -head in the under-16A boys. That's going to be a cracker, I would think. Absolutely, yeah. I, I like Galway a lot after last weekend, Mary. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's going to be a cracker of a game. I mean, the two teams kind of steeped in tradition of Irish schools basketball, so uh, really looking forward to that one now. Yes, indeedy. And after that, we are back to Tipperary for the under-16B girls. Skull ruin of Tip against St. Mary's Balna of Mayo in the under-16B girls. That's at 1.45, followed by the last game of the day at 3.30, St. Pat's of Navan. Some of my arch rivals from school's days and, of course, the Mead West Mead thing, Kojak, of course. St. Pat's Navan and Kaloshawera Crosshaven of County Cork playing the under-16B boys I noticed why well, you weren't letting me get a word in edgeways <laughs> there when you started talking about rivalries, Mary. <laughs> um, yes, of course, the Mead West Mead rivalry is is a good one. Okay. One that I enjoy. West Mead had a great <laughs> weekend, so don't be laughing at me. In the in the ga, but back to this game, we're still waiting for the clock and the scoreboard to. They're taking four seconds off the clock. They're going to start with a sideline possession for Turtles. And we are back in business here. Tully for Turles. Swings it out to Dunn. Creeden again, over the head shot, doesn't fall. And Williamson somehow yeah, finds great job. it yeah, to Ava O'Connor. And the long shot comes up here, doesn't fall. Good boards there from Turles. And Creeden taking over the point guard mantle. Good dispossession from a Satanta Zoe O'Sullivan, but she wins it straight back. He's going to attack the basket and attack Williamson, and that's going to be Williamson's third foul as well. Definitely a player they don't want to get into foul trouble. Yeah, like Creedon does a great job. I've seen her doing it twice now. She went at Stankovic when she was on three fouls, went straight at the body of Williamson there and left her no option just to foul her. This is good from Creedon. Second one doesn't fall, and Williamson comes out with the rebound. And we're on the move here with Satanta. Oh, great stop by Anna Dunn from Thurlis. And Tully dribbles her way across the half court. She's got Creedon in support. Bounce pass to her. Tully's gone for the return pass. It doesn't fall, but... She's battling under the basket there, and I would say that's gone out for a Satanta ball. It is indeed. Yeah, Tully's done a good job for her team as well. Like she's setting up the offense. She's looking for Creed, and she gets her in the right spots. They, they play kind of a little two-man game together pretty well as well. So, And she's a really tenacious defender. 
which is, you know, is the difference in the team at the moment and in, in the game at the moment is the defense. We see kind of a tree guard pressure coming up the floor again. Yes, indeed. Satanta and Stankovic get it across the line. Johnson. Oh, unlucky. Creedon. Williamson and Stankovic both getting hands to that there. Stankovic has Williamson on the run if she looks up. And instead comes out to Johnson. Williamson calling for it. That looks good, it is! Big, big tree. She had set herself up for that one for a while, Mary, just waiting for the ball to come to her. That's her side of the court, though. She likes that three-point shot. I noticed it away with Ireland during the summer as well in Italy when she was on the Ireland. The history-making Ireland under-18 women's team who, who played Division A for the first time in Irish basketball history. She was on that team, and she took some of those three-pointers from this right-hand side, and it's her spot. That's a lovely pass Great inside. Pass. Great defense from Creed and sets Tully off. But she can't keep control of it and it gives Satanta time to get back up the court. Oh, Creed and tricks Johnson. Lovely little just head fake, just gets Johnson off her feet, goes underneath her, set shot again and, and makes her makes her 23rd point, I think, Mary, in this game. Crikey. 7.29 to play here in quarter three. As Turles come again, they're here with the steal. The layup doesn't fall, but they've got the rebound, and it's good. You know, again, it was kind of 3v1, and they come up with the, the offensive rebound, and it's another easy enough score for them, pushing their score out to a 17-point lead. Stankovic. Oh, unlucky. Huge rebound from Katie Williamson. Great rebound, great, nice little soft touch to finish as well. 6.52 to go in the third. They really, really need to close her down, Kojak, though. Yeah, they haven't done a good enough job on her, Mary. I mean, she's, she's getting the look she wants nearly every time she comes down the floor. She's, from what I've seen in the game, she's made maybe three bad decisions in the entire game, and they have been no cost to her team. She's the one who's leading her team. She's making the basket. She's, as we said, about 23, 25 points. Must have seven, eight, 10 rebounds and maybe, you know, the same in assists. So she's done a fantastic job so far. And they're not coming to grips with her. They're also picking up a lot of offensive boards as well. Once Katie has been dragged out, up with Creedon. I, I'd probably look at maybe a little bit of a box and one on her maybe or something like that, you know, and just try and, you know, contain her and make sure that you clear your own rebounds. Might be an easier way, and it's harder to score if she's in them again. Look. Oh, super steal there from Anna Dunn, and she finishes. Oh, Time to really need a basket off this. Great finish from Katie. Just as you say it. 5.59 to play here in the third. Tully slowing things down at the top of the key for Turles. Williamson gets a hand to that and has done well because it's gone out of Turles's and it's sister for sister substitution again here for Satanta, Laomi and Dara swapping over, Dara checking in. Williamson with a huge long three. Yeah, it was a long baseball pass from the baseline from Stankovic to Williamson in the front court, and she just pulled up on a three-point line, was unlucky not to drop the three. But again, they need to keep them quiet now for the next minute or so and, and you know, get a couple of stops, get a couple of baskets the other end. Tully, Creedon, Creedon again. Good work on the boards there from Satanta. And... She manages to win possession for them as well. She, of course, being Kelly May Murphy. And she gets the inbound pass from Williamson. Oh. That hook pass just didn't go where she wanted it to. Yeah, there was no need for it. Like, just get it over half court, get your offense set through Stankovic, and, and, you know, 
get the ball in the hands of Stankovic or, or, or Katie Williamson and, and let them do their work. Creedon spinning through the defense. Katie Williamson is having words there with Johnson, looking for a bit of support when Creedon comes through like that. And Tully, she'll be going to the free throw line, but she snuck in there. She did very well. Yeah, it's going to a little triangle played around in the first half too, but this time a different option off it coming down the middle was Tully for uh, a little quick layup. Just having a bit of a discussion here at the table. 5.05 to play. Looks like someone's picked up their fifth foul, Mary, whoever that was. Number 11 has left the floor. That's uh, Zoe O'Sullivan. I think they're saying now she's got four fouls. Tully on the free throw line. That's the way to quiet in the crowd that start Definitely. shooting free throws. Two for two. 55 plays, 36 here. And Curlis with the steal and are on the attack once more. Doesn't go, but good offensive boards again. Williamson with the steal, though. And head down, driving up the court, and draws the foul from Creedon. Yeah, Creedon's not giving up the uh, the open court layup there. She's going to make sure that Katie's going to have to fight to get it. So that's only her second foul. So she's done a good job there. Timeout killing. For 45 to play here in the third quarter of this Subway Schools Cup Under 19B Girls Final. Game one, day one. We are going back to back Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Four games a day in the Subway School Cups finals. And some huge, exciting games in store. As this one is Tasha Tully for Prez. Creven out to Tully. That one doesn't go, and rebounded by Kuchevic. To Murphy, to Williamson. Oh! What a finish. That belongs on a highlights reel. Nice little spin through the middle. It's kind of like what Kira McCarty did for us at the weekend, off a of one-two instead, though. <laughs> Lovely finish by Williamson. And a big, big shot goes up there from Thurlis's Laura Daly. Satanta keep a hold of it. Murphy needs support. Gets it to Stankovic. Foul is called there. It's just that the pass is just that fraction of a second too slow. And, you know, instead of it being an open shot, then now she's got to make a shot. She's got to dribble. She's got to get a pass away. And the timeout coming from Turles here now.
Sorry, we're off again. Three-point shot coming in there from Jukovic. But now it's Turles on the fast break. And a rebound for Satampa. Out to Jukovic. Kucevic looks into a great pass to Williamson. Unlucky with the finish. to go here in the third. And 38 plays 55. Satanta, if you've just joined us in white. And presentation secondary school of Thurless County Tip in red. Oh, unlucky there. Johnson gets the rebound and it comes back out to Murphy. Williamson slowing things down. Oh, what a fabulous pass. Great pass, great score. Jukovic with the easy job of just putting it away. Great pass from Williamson. Yeah, great vision to spot her inside there. We've kind of gone into that, you know, boxing one now where it kind of looks like it maybe even a little bit of a zone. Going to force uh, Torres to shoot the ball a little bit more. Here's Creedon. Danger woman. Williamson fires it up. Can Murphy keep it in? <laughs> Very unlucky. She tried her best. We just got some news in there from Deirdre McCarthy to say that uh, young Creedon is um, daughter of a former Kenny football manager. Or sorry, Tipperary football oh, manager. I was going to say, go. that's the wrong county to be getting them confused. <laughs> West Cork blood in her household. <laughs> Creedon, that one doesn't fall for her. She gets her own rebound though. And Williamson this time has Murphy on the run. Can she keep it this time? Yes. She's leaked out well. Stankovic steps into the tree, gives it up though, and kicks it to Jukovic. Jansen under the boards, doesn't go. And Tully leaves them in her wake. Yeah, good job from Tully. Then she just settles it down. Going to get her team offense running again. It's two tree zone definitely now. It looked inside of Creedon on the left hand. Yeah, I was going to say that looked like a foul. Great job from Creedon. Great finish. He's going to go to the line now for a little bonus. Martin Hare shouting in some instructions there. 131 to play here in the third. This game is far from over though. That one doesn't drop for her and it's gone out for a Satanta ball. Substitutions again. Bajanko Johnson, one for one. Laomi checks back into the game. Two guard trap is coming in. Good work on it as well. Yeah, they, they, like, they kind of flirted with it during the game, up and down. And they're definitely kind of in a boxing one, trying to keep KD out of the game here now. Nice shot. Oh, though. lovely score. Jukovic. Lovely, lovely score from Kicevic. Tully. Slowing the pace right down here. 107 to play in the third and it's a steal Murphy's on the break again and she finishes she deserved that Kojak after some big runs there Williamson's passes the last few times just had a bit too much legs on them for her but that one was a perfect one to lay her up there yeah got it nicely in her in her kind of steps on the way to the basket good finish again you know takes the foul would be great if she make the free throw it's going to be you know right back down to a 12 point game Tough into that crowd. And it doesn't fall. And Creedon. Great pass from uh, Creedon. Stanta ball. Super pass from Creedon inside to O'Mara. And Murphy now for Satanta. Up to Kucevic. Stankovic. You know, Satanta will be looking for you know one basket here. Stop the other end. Yes. Get it under 10 going into the. There's, there's the shot, shot from Jukovic. Same place. 
And they're going to get another shot as well. So if you can get a stop here, get one more basket, get another 10 going into the last quarter. Still all to play for them. Yes, indeed. 23 seconds to go here to the end of the third. They need a big stop here. Tully with the shot. Williamson, she needs to work the clock now. 13 seconds. Kuzovic out to Stankovic. Oh, what a pass. Wide open, Katie. Oh. oh, Karina needs to get it up. It doesn't go, and we are at the end of the third. 46 plays 57. It is quarter four about to get underway here at the National Basketball Arena in Tala as Kalosha Pubble Satanta looking for the comeback here against Presentation Secondary School of Perlis. Prez leading 57-46 at the moment, but it's going to be an inbound for Satanta to get us underway. Co, what do you think the next few minutes is going to give us? Um, hopefully that, you know, Satanta get a couple of stops and make a couple of buckets and you know, get it under 10 points, make it an interesting game towards the end. But that last play of the the, the third quarter, and here she is, Stankovic for two. Just that last play, that round the back, pass to the corner. I'm Probably. happy I saw that. Yes. It's under 10 points for the first time in a while, Mary. Yes, indeed. Danielle O'Leary did a pass like that in the, the Women's Cup semi-final last Friday evening. I nearly lost my life on commentary. I heard you. <laughs> Yeah, Danielle will definitely do that, and is very capable of it. Graydon. Ah. She's just, uh, she's the answer. You know, every time there's uh, any kind of a run, anything happens, she just seems to settle her team down again by getting a bucket or two. And, yeah, you there's know, no and words for a sheer class. She's been fantastic today. Johnson's been unlucky with a couple of those now. Yeah, I saw her in the warm-up. She was hitting most of those, to be fair to her. Creedon doesn't go, and here we go at Murphy. She's got support with her and uses it. Lovely Williamson, a lovely tap in there. Yeah, did a good job of staying that little bit wide, you know, creating the gap, making the defender make a decision. And as soon as she did, found Katie with a lovely pass and an easy layup for Katie. 8 41 to play here. Tully with the long shot. Johnson just can't keep a hand on it, but she gets a good stop. Tully wins it back though. Gonna be hard stopping stuff here for the next couple of minutes. Creedon! Guess who? Mary Big screen Creedon. coming in from uh, Murphy there. Stankovic. Creedon again. Left hand driving. The lethal left hand. And huge offensive boards for Tireless has kind of been a bit of the the name of the game here. Williamson draws a foul, gives that's, a foul rather. And that's going to be her fort, Mary. Yeah, and it, a long way to go till the final buzzer, 8-0-1. Yeah, it's a gamble now for her coaches to leave her in there. But like taking her out is probably not an option either, to be fair. Eleven point game. Gonna give a lot of credit to Satanda as well. They haven't laid down, you know, they've stayed fighting. 
And as we said, considering that they were C last year and this is their first year up promoted, to get the whole way to a cup final is absolutely massive. Yeah, it's a fantastic achievement for them. Second one is good for Amy McGovern. Eight minutes exactly is what we have until the under 19 B girls Subway champion is crowned. Fantastic basket from Katie Williamson again. Straight down the middle of the key, nice easy lane. Tully, outside, oh, what a score from Anna Dunn. Huge three-pointer from Anna Dunn. And it's going to be reclined, replied to, no. Tully. Going to pull up for three. Oh. Off the backboard, rims out. Guess who <laughs> gets the rebound? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God is right. The kid has been absolutely amazing today. Off the rebound, falling off balance. Makes her must be 30 points in the game. Yeah, absolutely ridiculous. Katie Williamson gets the foul. Yeah, I think she got what she wanted out of. We're looking to get a timeout here now for Santa coming up, I think. Yes, indeed. We'll be back in a couple of moments. Six fifty-five to go here in the fourth quarter of the Subway Schools Under 19 B Girls Cup Final. It's been a long road for both of these schools to get to this day. And what a game they've put on so far. And it's gonna be free throws for Katie Williamson that gets us back underway after that timeout. Crucial ones for Williamson, but she's shooting into the Thurless supporters end. Doesn't phase her on the first. Super support here from both schools. Oh, two from two. Okay, that's important. Now she just, again, is playing defense now, forcing them to take tough shots. Make sure you clear your boards. Tully outside to Laura Daly. Comes back in to McGovern. Johnson, can she keep hold of it? She can. Williamson out to Stankovic. Fired across court to Zoe O'Sullivan, who takes on all of them. And I'd say that's out for a press ball, it is. Yeah, that was unlucky. I think I'd like the ball in the hands of either Stankovic or Williamson now. Great steal. What a steal. She wasn't sure what to do with it there. I think she got as much of a surprise that it ended up in her hands as the Prez player did. But Prez will settle back down now. 67 plays 54 with 6.13 to play in the fourth. Got a 2-3 zone coming in from Satanta. Williamson came off that. It's going to be an easy shot. Doesn't fall though. Williamson seems to have drawn a foul. Yeah, that fell to be number 10. So Anna Dunn. Anna Dunn is right. Yeah. Sister for sister again on the substitution, Mary. Yes, indeed. Dara is checking back in for Satanta in place of Laomi. Nice handles from Sankovic. Nice pass to Williamson. 
Nice head fake. Oh, doesn't fall for her. It's gone out for Satanta possession though. 5.45 yeah. to play. Yeah, that's a good move. It's a good strong move and it was a nice finish. Just unlucky that it hit the front of the rim. And again, it's gone out of bounds here. Good defense from Amy McGovern of Prez. Getting a hand to it there, Williamson. Keeps a hold of it. Outside. Creedon. Got six seconds on the shot clock. <whistles> Ref's just consulting on that. And it is going to be a six second shot clock to finish off this offense. And Creedon. Just seems to be everywhere, really. Yeah, she must have some amount of points as well. 30 points is what I counted to this stage. That's why I have you beside me there to do go. the maths. And the Prez are on the break here with Daly. That's smart. That's a good job. Pull it back out, set it up. They don't need to rush anything. Just as you say it, though, the shot, quick shot goes up from Tully. Doesn't go. And with 5.13 to play... It is still 67-54 in favor of Prez Thurlis. Satanta into Johnson. Oh, good score. Good score. Again, it's only an 11-point game. My mind brings me back to that retangling game a few years ago. 26 down and into the last quarter, came back to win it. I think it was against, uh, you won that one, it was against Letter Kenny, Mary. I don't think I was. Yeah, Aaron Whelan, Shane Mahan, the guys that... Oh, yeah, they're all National League now as well. There you go. And there Time is out there. again here. Four forty-nine is what is left here at the National Basketball Arena in this Subway Schools Under 19 B Girls Cup final. Who is going to be taking home that coveted cup in four minutes and forty-nine seconds? Creedence calling first. I think McGovern. Ooh, what a block! Oh, foul called. Against Williamson? No, nope. nope. that one came on Zoe O'Sullivan. Zoe I think that's O'Sullivan. her fifth as well, though. There was a mistake earlier on. It's either a fourth or her fifth. See what the table hold up for it. Nope. Nothing moving, though. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> we guess it's not her fifth anyway. Maybe. First free throw doesn't go. Second one's good though. Back out to 12 points, that is. Williamson. Oh. Here she goes again. <laughs> I'll get in. That's ridiculous. There's a nice uh, training video on our Instagram page. We shared it across from FIBA for those behind the back passes if any of you want to try it at home it should be the second or third post on instagram a nice uh, gym workout for you all what Good a lovely score. score there 
from Kieran Egan. I would prefer if none of my players would look at that video. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> She pulls it off so well, nah, though. She, yeah, she, yeah. It, it's part of her game, and you can see it. Oh, unlucky there for Stankovic, but yes, a good sir. steal here from Zoe O'Sullivan. Oh. Creedon, right-hand layup doesn't go. Tully's rebound doesn't go. Tully, I think, stepping back off her there. And it is Stankovic again. Bit of a bit of contact on that. Creedon. Ah, clever play there. Tully. Williamson. She's got a runner. And it is Kieran McGean. It doesn't fall. 3.07 to play here. So there's two layups like in the last 40 30 seconds, Mary. It could be a six-point game right now, you know. Coach looking for pressure to be put on the ball. Turl is happy to just throw it around the perimeter. Williamson working her socks off. Johnson can't keep a hold of it, and it comes back out again. Another offensive rebound. Foul is called there on Zoe O'Sullivan. I think. No, he's going with 16 or 17. So it's okay, Johnson. And we've subs checking in here. Ava O'Connor coming back into the game for Satanta. Zoe O'Sullivan has given a little bit of a spark in the last couple of minutes to Satanta. You know, just a couple of little steals and little score at the other end. Done really well for her team. Yeah, definitely. Tully. It's wide open there. She's going to take it? I'd even shoot that one, Mary. <laughs> Yeah, nobody came down and closed her out on that at all. No. I could see uh, a guy like Ian with Lachlan's eyes opening up with that much space, you know what I mean? I'm <laughs> sure we'll see him here at the weekend. She's been a bright spark here in this last quarter as well, Melissa. Yes, yeah, thank you, which has been very good. Johnson. There you go. Eight-point game all of a sudden. 2.14 to play. Ooh. The Tanda crowd coming into a little bit. Yeah. Perimeter pass, a good pass inside. Oh, That's super. a great basket. That's a great score. And they needed it right then. Williamson head down, driving through the lot of them. But a good check from Anna Dunn. Slows her gallop. Oh, oh great oh, pass. Oh, 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 no. What a pass. The right dinky little player. Creedon, right hand layup again doesn't go for her. Yeah, like if she could have switched that to her right hand, she tried to go on the left hand side with her left hand on the right hand side, and that's tough. You know, so maybe that's something she can, one of the few things we can say she can work on, you know what I mean? Yeah. Stankovic, though, her handling, Kojak. Absolutely unreal. She's made some fabulous passes. Not only the stylish ones, but that was a lovely little bounce through to Johnson. Yeah, like it, it takes a very clever player to see those passes, you know, let alone be able to, to make them. So, you know, she, she obviously knows the game. She reads the game very well. Um, I'd like to have seen her a little bit more involved in regards, you know, shooting the ball. Because I think she, I've seen her shoot the ball. I know she's a good shooter. Williamson again. Just had a little bit too much on that. Johnson can't keep a hold of it. And it's Creedon on her left this time. And no problem at all. I think we're going to go for about 35 points now, Mary, for Creed. 36 points, I think, actually. Not a round the back pass from yeah, it's ridiculous. our buddy Melicia. One oh one to go here. We are on the free throw line with Stankovic. 
Sorry, with O'Sullivan. Williamson with a huge rebound. Oh, it doesn't drop for it. They've missed a few of those now. She yeah. gets it on the second time of asking. And, you know, the clock actually didn't run there, Mary, for about three or four seconds either, so not too much time has gone off the clock, so she's going to go to the free throw line, try and make her, I'd say, about her 30th point as well. She's been fantastic. Yeah, she's been huge, yeah. But, like, they, they've missed three to four, you know, layups in the last minute and a half that would have made this game a lot different. Yeah, and she's gone out for the three here. Oh, Karina knocks it out of bounds there, and it's going to be a Satanta ball. Timeout coming from Satanta, 55 seconds to play. Fifty-five point one seconds on the clock here in quarter four. It's going to be a Santa inbound. Johnson doesn't fall though. Yeah, it's right away shot. Probably needed this right away shot, but I would have tried to have gotten it to either Williamson or Stankovic to be honest. You know, so Coach Hare just tell his team just keep the ball. Don't take an early shot. Whatever you do, be smart. Run down a bit of off the clock, and you know you're going to get this win now. Especially because they're in foul trouble, they don't really want to give up any more free throws. Shot clock violation there, and that's a pity because I think that would have brought Green to 40 points, which would have been some <laughs> achievement. 27.8 seconds, and Stankovic up to O'Sullivan going out for a Santa ball Stankovic oh the bank was open no pictures on the score sheet Mary <laughs> oh, that's her fifth foul I think for Katie Williamson she was walking towards the bench maybe it's her fourth yeah, she kind of took a detour back onto Didn't the she? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sat nav working, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, contact there. Two shots for. Here's your girl now. She might get up to the 40 now, Kojak, not to, to jinx her. 13 seconds. You know what? She deserves it. You know, she's been absolutely amazing today. and in every facet of the game she rebounded really well she she's passed the ball well and she's got scores especially when her teams need it you know her, her team have given up little runs here and there and she's always been the one to answer and has done a fantastic job for Prez Turles today she's definitely a one to watch for the future and a steal here from Tully who's also had a fantastic game four seconds and that's it! And it's taken the last one as well. That score is good at the very end. Prez are true. Two. No, they're not true. They've won the Subway Schools Cup. Finally, under 19B. And a massive congratulations to Martin Hare and all the coaching staff in Prez, what a fantastic game, yeah, super. I was, I was talking to Marie Collins before the game, as well. Marie has been, you know, a, a stalwart of Prez Turtles basketball for years and years and years, and uh, it's great to see them back on the, the big stage here again, you know, I mean, I think it's 11 years or so since they were last here, uh, 
fantastic win for, for Prez Turles. You know, I'm sure their alma mater down there in Cork, the Gronje and Niamh Dwyer will be delighted to see the girls coming through and, and winning this final. Yes, indeed, but a huge team performance. I know we've, we've called out Marie Creedon, obviously, for what a huge game she's put in. But across the board, it was a superb performance as Kalasha Pubbles, Satanta's captain, Katie Wilkinson, what a game she had as well. Heads up to collect her silver medal. You cannot fault Williamson or Satanta for lack of effort. They yes. gave it their all. The last, you know, four or five minutes, they were fantastic. They really stuck in there. You know, they actually got it back to eight points. The, the shot on the buzzer, I wouldn't really count, you know, even though it does count, if you know what I mean. It does, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but like um, Lisa Stankovich and Katie Williams and Zoe O'Sullivan, the name, but a few were, were superb for Santa. Jason Killeen, Irish international Tempelo player and head of development of basketball Ireland presenting the silver medals there. To the coaching staff, Michelle Allen and Ashling Corker, and what a fantastic journey they've had with this squad the whole way up from first year to come up to a promotion here at under 19. This could get a bit loud, Mary. I think it will. Yeah, this kid had a great game as well. Uh, Tasha Tully, she, she was really, really good. Marie Creedon was phenomenal. Uh, yeah. Anna Dunn kicked in with a few baskets as well. Did really well for the team. Yeah, indeed. Amy McGovern as well. Jennifer O'Mara. A superb team performance all round. The big question, Kojak. It'll be interesting to see who gets the MVP award. Is it an answer you want? <laughs> no, we'll leave it guessing. It'll be presented in a couple of minutes. Uh, there were, you know, a couple of really big performances. Obviously, Katie Williamson from Satanda was phenomenal, as was uh, Manisha Stankovic played really well. You know, but for um, for Turles, Perez Turles, Tasha Tully it was, was excellent. Uh, Anna Dunn was brilliant. But uh, I think we all know where this one's going, Mary. Yes, indeed, Creedon. What a phenomenal game she had. Richly deserved. MVP of the under 19B Subway Schools Cup Final. And Cup presentation here to. And what a crowd. And that is it from myself and Martin Conroy here at the arena. We will be back in just a couple of minutes with the under 16A boys Subway Schools Cup final in a ding dong Galway Derby. But for now, over and out, and congratulations once more to presentation of Thurlis. <laughs>